Hi, Super Legit listeners. Before we get to the episode, we want to take a moment to address the June 24th, 2022 Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. This decision stripped away the right to have a safe and legal abortion. Everyone should have the freedom to decide what's best for themselves and their families, including when it comes to ending a pregnancy. This decision has dire consequences for individual health and safety and can have harsh repercussions for other landmark decisions. Restricting access to comprehensive reproductive care, including abortion, threatens the health and independence of all Americans. Learn more by visiting podvoices.help. If you're able to support others, please consider donating to abortion funds. We encourage you to speak up, take care, and spread the word. Welcome, everyone, to Super Legit Podcast. I am your host, Jet Kaufman, and I am surrounded by friends once again. Jet, Jet, it's episode 50. It Ooh. is episode 50. Oh, my God, you Happy called 50, it out. Happy buddy. 50. I, uh, I'd i say I can't believe we made it here, but I expect to make it to, what, 400, 500? What do you, what's what's your plan, Josh? No, that's a roll contract. We're okay, great. All right, 500 it, it is. Uh, so we've got Stephen C. James here. Hey, Stephen. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm in Maine. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Whoa. Yeah. Commitment uh, right mm-hmm. there. I'm on East Coast time. <laughs> we've got Chris Sanders. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you? <laughs> uh, uh-huh. uh, you probably don't even want to answer that question. <laughs> uh, Josh Spence, of course, you've already heard. Hello, Josh. Hey, buddy. And we've got our guest this week, Monica Smith. Hello, Monica. Hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you for making it. I know you're in the middle of a move, which is, uh, I hear, what is that, the second most stressful uh, life event only to uh, the death of a spouse. So uh, thank you for putting this kind of commitment to the show. (laughs) I will say there have been a couple of times when my wife and I moved where she was like, I think I prefer death of a spouse. (laughs) And, and you were like, which one? <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to throw out here real quick. Uh, once again, we do not have Michael Hyman, our co-host on the show. As usual, mm-hmm. he's at another yeah. wedding. Um, Shame. So, we need a co-host. Yeah. So how many times is the matzo ball a year? Uh, I think it's 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 every I week. I think that one's only in December, <laughs> but I don't know if he's going to go again after getting COVID at the last one. So uh, we'll see. Can I make a pitch uh, here? I think yeah, it's about no, I love time. your pitches, Stephen. Can, right? yes. been, Can we make a yeah. picture? I mean, it, it's something yeah. where it's, it. it's been way too long in coming. Uh, uh, yeah. I, think I know that, where he's going with this. Yeah. And I, I'm already I mean, on board. Yeah. Uh, we are Swing allies. Votes. Yes, uh, majority. Women should have yes. autonomy. I would like Absolutely. Monica to be yes. our co-host. Yeah. Well, you yeah. can't. Yeah. yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. But the it's, last it, thing this, this is your choice, Monica. Yeah, you episode get fifty after right after we slashed civil rights that have been around for fifty years. Wow! Wow! Perfect this timing. will bring it back. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Yes, we'll get that with our bits. <laughs> yeah, are just you, wait are you for, up for this. The role tonight, Monica, is, uh, is, I can do it. I don't for. even know what it entails, really, but I Nothing like. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. You're yeah. already you're doing it. it. If yeah. you do it as well as Michael Hyman does, no one will even notice. Well, then look out, world. That's how the job's no, done. I, right. I, I lost to the better person. It's it's super fun. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Josh. This is the right Just call. No, this is the right call. How it rolls. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Mon- Monica Smith's fantastic. She can always have this spot. No problem. So, uh, so we we start this show off of a question. We figured, uh, you know, someone's already hinted at what a, what a rough week we're having. So we're gonna we're gonna go with a lighthearted question, um, and maybe we'll actually get some lightheartedness in here at least to start. Uh, so let's throw this out. What is your dream pet? I have a question for your question. Oh, great. I love clarifications. <laughs> Does this dream pet have to be biological? Why are you why Ooh, why are what? you putting boundaries on your dreams? Do you mean like a sentient chair? It's like is that where you're going with this? <laughs> it, it, it could be. Yeah. It could be. Wow. It's your it could be. It's your dream. Why would we limit your I, dreams? Yeah. God? yeah. What are yeah. I, mean, I, I used I, I used mean, the word dream and I feel like I have to go with whatever happens as a result of me okay. being that unspecific. So yes, if you want to go something 
completely bonkers literal dream well, i want to hear it you confuse like dream for ideal you know yeah no and, and I, that's probably what was in my head but that's see, on me i know you that's on me yep mm-hmm. a co-host would know that though. there's a history of sentient chairs though in film i mean there, there's cherry uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 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 The the <laughs> monster right. toilet that wanted to eat your pee pee and look who's talking. This kit mm-hmm. from Knight Rider. Yeah. It's a sentient yeah. car. Yes. Yeah, the, the oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Which which has seats in it, mm-hmm. and I'm sure those seats had okay. their own feelings. So there's Transformers. I mean, yep. that's a whole bunch of sentient. Josh, what's this non biological dream pet of yours? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, let's stop uh, talking uh, talking hypothetical and let's mm-hmm. get to it. <laughs> All right, I'll go later. I no, what? No, no, we need to know. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, well, okay. I'm, Who else has something? I think... I'm going to go chalk. I'm going to go the most basic bitch answer there possibly is. I'm going to go oh, Falkor, the luck dragon from the never-ending story. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, oh. it is a cross between yes. a dog and a dragon. He's wise. He's He gives you advice. He loves a good scratch behind the ears. Yeah. Uh, I saw that movie when I was a kid, and I was like, this is, and it still has not changed. I've had several dogs in my life that are, like, you know, brothers in arms with me, and, like, and so close, and amazing, but it's always fall for the Luck Dragon. I'm always looking at every dog I've ever had and been like, why can't you fly? Yeah. <laughs> Some of them try, too. Mm-hmm. Like my 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 uh, my childhood dog who uh, who jumped out of our second story window yeah. one time. Oh shit! Yeah. Nice. She really 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 <laughs> missed us. Like she wow. had such se- separation anxiety, and she managed. Our, our we came home and our, our answering machine had calls from our neighbors saying, "I have your dog. Your dog's running loose." And we're like, "What are you talking about? Our door was locked. We came in. There's nothing wrong here. Everything's fine." And we go upstairs, and she had chewed through the second story screen window and and shoved the the, the window open and jumped out. And we found her dog tag. She had a plastic dog tag that you could open up to get the uh, the address uh, yeah. written on it. And we found her dog tag lying broken next to a sprinkler head. She had apparently landed on the sprinkler head, and her dog tag saved her from getting her neck impaled on the sprinkler head. Oh, my head. God. So our dog flew and survived spectacularly. Wow. Now, you say, because of your own human narrative, that this dog did this because it missed you so much. What if this dog had been crying for help all those times, and this was its big escape? It, like, hops out of the window, risking damage to itself, rips off the collar using the sprinkler head, a plan it had come up with weeks before, and then when trying to make a run for it, was scooped up by your neighbors and was like, we're going to protect this dog. See, I would consider that possibility, but she was the dumbest dog on Earth. Oh, um, and, so and now, not no happen. wonder she wanted to escape. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> With this kind of gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's like Fraggle Rock or something. The human is finally gone and I can live my life yeah. like I want to, which is outside without a rope around my neck. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Destroy my childhood. That's fine. That's all. Take it, guys. This is uh, this is what I get. Thank you so much for ruining that memory. <laughs> Super. Okay, Shark, so you guys know what the McRib is, right? It's part McPork and part McBeef, and that's the McRib. What I'm suggesting you guys buy from me today is bacon. But it's not bacon as you think of bacon. It's one part bacon, one part crayon. Put them together, bacon. It melts quicker. You can do it right. You I'm can sorry. Keep it I'm easier gonna, I'm going to interrupt you real quick here. Uh, sure, okay. Y- y- you melded bacon and crayon. And a crayon, right, yes. Right, and, Phil and you're going bacon. to pronounce it bacon and not bacon? Oh, bacon. Yes, bacon. I mean, but this, see, the problem, this concerns uh-huh. me right here because you have a branding issue right inside the door. You've just pitched the product to us, okay. and we're already okay. correcting your branding. Okay, well, if you... I didn't hear you say no, so we're going to... We're gonna keep that. I gotta say, maybe- for the branding, you're also the the meat just is the same color as bacon. When you have crayons that have every color in the rainbow, this could be a rainbow oh. baconator, and instead you have it looking like the meat we normally eat. Rainbow baconator, use that for Pride Month. It's already selling itself. I, it's done. Who says no? Uh. Well, I mean, honestly. No one's saying no. No, hold on. Great, I'm going to move to number two. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> before right. you move on to number two, I also have an issue. Phil, is it? Did you say Phil? 
Phil, 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 Phil Savage. Um, Phil Savage is yes. bacon. So if, why aren't we calling take this that, shark number item two? Savage Rainbow Bacon? I mean, it's all right there. The kids, they love the hip hop. Oh, 21 Savage. Savage. I really feel like we're doing right. your job for you, Phil. Yeah, can also cool. I want to jump back in here, Phil? Uh, what does this bacon? Uh, and I'm sorry, I actually do own that uh, trademark. That's uh, okay. We're going with Savage Baconade, right? That's what we chart number three. Mm. Savage mm. Rainbow Bacon. Yeah. Yes. Uh, again, uh, I'm gonna call you on that pronunciation because okay. I do own that. Okay. Uh, but what does this taste like? Can you, do you have samples for us? I do have samples. That's uh, I can't believe I didn't Mac- ask for the samples. You are I, doing a you know, terrible I, job. I just I have so many different samples. I'm excited to show you all of them. Uh, let me get the magnifying glass so the sun can get hit the magnifying glass, and then it melts the baking crayon. Bacon. Sorry, trademark. Yeah. That's ten percent for you. In the right level. I'm just. Um, uh, I can't help but wonder why you didn't include your brother Dan Savage into the branding. I mean, that guy's you said got you quite to the following. For I know he has quite the following. I. I'm trying to get out under Dan's shadow, okay? Okay? You know what's under a shadow? A rainbow. Ah. That's a good point. Good yeah. point. Good point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sample number two. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Cheddar cheese. You take the power of the Tillamook Vermont cheddar with the hydrating electrolytes of Gatorade. Cheeserade. Cheeserade. You can pair this with crackers. You can have this with wine. That offsets so you don't get too tipsy. Who says no to Cheeserade? I'm going to say no to Cheeserade. I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, I I'm say no. Mark Cuban, owner cheeserade. of the Dallas Mavericks, I'm saying no to Cheeserade. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mark. Sorry about that. I have a pet gator, and the fact that you're not calling it gator cheese and taking <laughs> advantage of this right now. Yeah. Okay. Who See, doesn't want why, a gator with this cheese? This is why he's a billionaire. Good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Gator cheese is brilliant. Research the sharks before you come on. You got to play to our strengths and our weaknesses. I mean, you called Mark Cuban shark number three. I, he's Mark I, I Cuban. I mean, I just, all of I us even admit he's the most memorable of the group. Well, if I start calling him Mark, I didn't want him to think like we're friends, and all of a sudden we're sharing another thing at Cheeserade. So we're not but friends I, I now, like Phil? You, no, Whoa. we're not Whoa. friends now. I only I'm, work I with friends. Say, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. No. No, come on. No respect here. I'll give you 95% of Cheeserade. As a matter of fact, We'll rebrand Cheeserade. It'll be one part cheese inside a gator that also has a first aid kit. Cheeserade. Who says no? I'm offering 125%. That math is just confusing me, i got to be honest. As a billionaire, how can you offer more than 100? Are you giving 25% out of your pocket, whatever our 100 becomes? This is, uh, this is embarrassing, and I, I think you should be ashamed. I think you no, should I, go home. I, I, Where's Dan when you need him? Those tears aren't going to help you, buddy. Well, he's probably in Seattle making his own millions of dollars because he's far better at business than you. Maybe Mark can give you some drugs to make you happy because this is embarrassing. Mark? Uh, Well, you know, I do have this new company. It, We're lowering prescription are, drug prices. I don't mean to plug this here on the network, but as long as... No, no, plug it, baby, plug right. it. So, so long as we're doing this, I'm lowering drug prices across the United States. There's been a, a monopoly for too long. Uh, it's what I can do to help people. And uh, you know what? Just everybody, just uh, look it up on the internet. You can get, get drugs at lower prices. All legal, of course. Uh, we're, we're disrupting. We're disrupting. Just like I, I did all those years ago. Uh, with and you get a free savage rainbow bacon with every order of drugs. Hey, Phil, your 15 minutes of favor and Shut it down, Phil. I'm sorry. You uh, that, uh, That's a nice parallel to how we treat Josh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Great, great. I could feel the energy felt very, like, vibrant for everyone. That felt real, like a little too real. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just that was just mapping right there. Yeah. I, I do ask for it a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. Um, can, can, can I go with my suggestion now? Yes, we That's wanted, we wanted it earlier. Yeah. When you... <laughs> As a co-host, I expect it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, well, Nailing yeah, it, cause... Monica. Nailing it. <laughs> this is great. Um, okay, so I had two thoughts. I think the first thought was actually uh, was actually Falcor, so well done on that. Um, but I figured Falcor would have been taken, which boom. Falcor right. is also biological. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Ooh. So 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 is Battle Cat from He Man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Big old giant 
tiger cat mm-hmm. that you can ride, goes into battle, cool masks like with a beak, it helps fight Skeletor, and then when he's done, he transforms into a regular cat. So you could be a cat person, not a not and a, an awesome, not a regular cat, uh, a giant no. cowardly cat named Cringer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and you could have Schnarr, who's right there doing fun quips <laughs> instead, mm-hmm. yeah. and have the comedy duo, and instead you're going with the scaredy cat, literally. Yeah. Literal scary. Monica is roasting me. <laughs> do you to get to get Battle Cat to Battle Cat size? Do you also have to display like toxic masculinity oh. to hide your homosexuality? Oh. No. No, well, that's Ooh. the terrible thing about Battle Cat. I think Cat we too. found the theme of the episode. Yeah, Battle Cat is always a gigantic cat. So you have this gigantic cat that's like trying to cower behind you. Yeah, try going to Target with that cat. (laughs) You just need some Listerine and it's going to be like knocking down aisles. It's going to be embarrassing. But at least you can get in because it's your emotional support battle cat. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's acceptable. You know what? Falkor doesn't need a giant litter box. Oh, Oh, yeah. That You know, I mean, we don't. That is not established in in uh, Never Ending Story canon. Yeah, Mm. it's true. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because I was also thinking a couple other ones. I did mention Transformers. If I was going to have a Transformer pet, I was thinking like Starscream because it's a big, cool jet. Um, yes. But the other one I was thinking about, if I didn't go with Battle Cat, was Zool from Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that seems problematic. Is that How a do you cat control? or a dog? That's a lot of power. Yeah, wait. I don't know, but I would control. I look at me. Of course, I would control Zool. But Zool can also take other forms, so you would right. constantly have a shape shifting if they're in Sigourney Weaver's character, whoever they're in. Yeah, yeah. You you'd have Rick Moranis sometimes as your pet. Yeah, mm-hmm. or a gargoyle thing a turned to life. Gargoyle, yeah. yeah. Well, back to the biological thing. <laughs> well, also Rick though, is a pet. isn't. That's, isn't Zool what the Stay Puft Marshmallow, like Zool transforms into the Stay Puft Marshmallow, yeah. and then Ooh, the Gatekeeper nice. and the Keymaster are yes. the are Rick Moranis the and Sigourney Weaver's characters. Yeah. They're the dog creatures. But, so really, like, you've got, you basically want um, someone dressed as Prince as a pet? Yeah. <laughs> No, you so, just want pink liquid that's in the subways? You just yeah, <laughs> cut yeah, to that yeah. instead and just have yeah, that? That could work too, yeah. What's going to happen is Zool's going to say, imagine what I'm going to be, and then you're just going to imagine Battle Cat, and you've okay. just added an entire middleman. <laughs> you're just going right, to, so, every so party you go to is going to be like, why are you Kane? No one's going <laughs> to understand. <laughs> All right, so two things. One, Monica Smith is already the best co-host ever, just completely roasting me, mm-hmm. which is fine. She knows her two, job. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, she picked up well. on the subtext. Oh, my God. <laughs> too, too quickly. And two, I thought I was going to be really good. I am failing this question <laughs> so hard. Let me come back to you. I'll have, I, I'll have another answer I also later. love that we were like, Josh... Don't limit your dreams. Yeah, and then as and soon as they started talking, the we're like, those are three yeah. shitty dreams, Josh. Yeah. But they're also yeah. somebody else's dream first. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. 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 What's your dream? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. What like are the, the qualities beginning of Pretty of Woman? Battle Cat and I'm Zool dying for someone to do a and Starscream. <laughs> what are those qualities that you want Because from that? Because... Like, what I'm gathering, not that I'm some sort of shrink or something. so much fun getting roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Super. All right. Uh, uh, Freddy. Freddy, just uh, just lie back in your seat. And uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can put the knives down for a minute here. And just, this is, this is just us talking. I just, I want to know about your dreams for a change. You know, you're hopping in and out of everyone else's dreams, worried about theirs, but let's talk about, let's talk about Freddy here for a moment. What does Freddy want? I want him to be a gardener. Oh, that's interesting. It's, just, it's, actually, it's kind of ironic that I, you know. I yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Uh, well, right. Now, and, but d- d- talk to me for a moment, because again, we, we want to talk about your dreams. Did you perhaps watch the movie Edward Scissorhands recently? Absolutely, it's uh, ah. in in my world. It's it's uh, it's tits. My ah, office, say that. Yes. Up here. <laughs> yeah, it took a out moment here. for me to understand. It's what not you meant really. By it's that, not yes. up. It's not like you know. My world isn't hell. It's it's your dreams. <laughs> I'm really right. not. I don't own anything. Okay, so. Oh, all right. A minimalist. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, you could you could say yes. that. 
So okay, but you, let's, let's get back. So your dream is—I mean, it, it sounds again like it's someone else's dream. It's it's Edward Scissorhands. I mean, is that really you, or is that you just seeing what's what someone else wanted and going after that? Oh, he's a, he's a fab, fabulous gardener. This it's is re- true. really yes. what the film is about: is his, uh, his shearing skills of, <laughs> of foliage. All right, all right. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. I'm bringing some teas in, but I heard tits in the reference of a Johnny Depp movie, and I just got worried what's happening in this room right now. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's, it's, a, it's a, of course, it's a private therapy session. Uh, yes, it's only should... it's on the speaker outside. It's totally private to the office. I don't know if you saw that on the confidentiality paperwork you signed, kid, huh? Uh, what, I mean... Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a supernatural being, so, um, uh, I don't really know my rights here, uh, but, uh, can I get a refund? Um, M- Mandy, Mandy, we're, we're really not supposed to tell the patients about that. I mean, they, they just sign off on it. They don't really think about it. It's... Right, I heard nothing. I mean, what, who am I gonna tell? My 72 cat? Well, God rest in peace. Sixty-nine of them are dead, but the three ones that are left won't hear about this. I swear. Here's your oh, chamomile. Muggles past. Muggles past. Muggles past. Yeah. Ah, you must have uh, uh, pretty bad dreams about muggles, huh? Yeah. Nice I mean, muggles. now we're talking about muggles, which was written by a woman. What has happened? It was not the nicest with certain types of people. I'm concerned about this room. I'm gonna go. I have other clients I need to listen in. I talk to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you for the help. And thank you for addressing some concerns that you're absolutely right. We will need to discuss those and and get to the bottom of them. All right. I'm out of the room, but I'm saying you're welcome. Thank right. you. What What the hell is a muggle other than her cat? Oh, I, it's, was, it's... I was just trying to get her to feel bad and invite me into her brain. Oh, yes. No, it's... it's uh... In her dreams, of course. This is... Right, right, right. No, it's hard to do that with Mandy. She's uh, honestly one of those strongest-willed individuals I've ever known. I've uh, asked her if she's need, need help many times, and honestly, sometimes she helps me. Uh, it's, it's awkward. She doesn't have a license or anything, but she just asks me the right questions and gets me to question myself. And... Oh, I'm sorry. This is a... I <laughs> do don't want to get into my head here. Uh, let's talk about you. Hey, uh, Mandy, I've got your vanilla latte with two pumps of caramel. And you're right. I probably do need to confront my mom about her issues controlling me. Uh, have a great day at work. Yeah, thank you. Also, can we just name it a vanilla caramel or caramel latte? It's got two pumps. I don't know why we add the pumps and don't just identify with the name. Uh, you know what? You're also doing an excellent job of pointing out my own issues that I got from my mom about being controlling. You called it a little karma latte. I wanted to be in control of what if this was labeled between us, and I mm-hmm. call it a vanilla latte with two pumps of caramel. I need to take a look at myself. Uh, I, also, it's 180 degrees, just like you asked. Oh my god, thank you so much. Also, you don't need a mirror to look at yourself, you just need your thoughts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I have your number three extra value meal for Mandy. Uh, the gator with cheese with a medium fry and a soda. And um, you're, you're totally right. I had the time to think about it as I grabbed your meal. Uh, there's nothing extra to the value about it relative to anything else. It's the cheapest food on the market in capitalism just dictates that a few people make the most money out of any of us and i'm just feeding you trash that's going to ultimately destroy your body and the planet around us you know what i appreciate that you said that have you also noticed that a smile is free when that's actually given your actual heart and soul to another person so i want you to value yourself when you give me a smile that to me is priceless oh yeah, oh see that feels good all right, uh, so you you, you want to do just the the regular? You want to do the deluxe uh, rainbow prism wash this time? Although, okay, all right, I'm gonna stop right there because I heard myself and I recognize what you've been telling me. Because realistically, the deluxe is what we should all expect. We should all honestly expect that is the base level of uh, of of needs that we have. We should all value ourselves, and deluxe shouldn't even be a thing. It shouldn't be a label because we should all get the best and expect the best. 
I'm sorry. I keep forgetting these things. Hey, hey, hey. I appreciate that you're acknowledging it. Now let's talk about the rainbow because it's only six colors when we all know that a Crayola box has way more than six colors inside of it, huh? You're right. You're right. We're, we're missing so many options here. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. And and it doesn't represent everybody. It doesn't represent all the types of people who are coming through here and the cars. There's so many colors of cars, and that's representative of the, the types of people that are inside of them. And, oh, yeah. I'm sure I'm going to be the outlier on this, but I think we need to reduce the amount of colors in the Crayola box, guys. I know we've been pushing it up every year. For many years, we went from 8 to 16 to 32 to 64 I think we have too many colors. Brown and sand are the same thing, guys. And if you search your hearts, you all know it. Racist. What what kind of sand? Are we talking a red sand beach, a white sand beach, a green sand beach? I, that was just three of the That's options. That's a valid point, but we have none of those crayons, those colors in You're the right. crayons. You're right. We need more colors. Everyone no. agreed? More colors? Agreed. No. Agreed. No. no. Let's take it up to 1,028. Hey, Lewis, can I Love talk it. with you about this limit the colors thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Feels, um, feels pretty close-minded to me, Lewis. All right? I got to say. Really? How so? Um, because you're trying to limit the way people can express their creativity. Okay? There's five of us in this room, and I think we get to decide how many colors people get. Lewis, I, you can get another different pair of jeans. You don't have to just get blue. Sweetheart, I thought maybe you could try black jeans, you know? Or maybe some khakis. Stonewash, blue, acid, Blue jeans. That's the way to go. Uh, I'm going to have to go look in the back, but... Um, it needs to be acid wash. John Bon Jovi rocks the yeah. acid wash blue jeans. That's what works for this okay. guy. Don't normally do this at Marshall's. It's on you to just kind of dig in the racks, but uh, I'm going to hook you up this time. Thank you. I like your determination, kid. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll be back. What's wrong with liking just one color? That's how it goes, okay? I know, it's just you also only like Bon Jovi, and he stopped doing music and started acting. And now you've yeah, stopped just, listening to music altogether. Because he knew the amount of songs that he had was the perfect amount of songs. He didn't do Living on a Prayer Part 2, it was just Living on a Prayer Part 1. Well, what's your Look, other I'm, favorite song of his? Runaway. Runaway is fantastic when he was John Bon Jovi. It should be on the Bon Jovi thing, but everybody knows... It's a Bon Jovi song. Like, is it so wrong? I'm a guy who likes what he likes. Acid blue wash jeans. There should be less colors in the crayon box. And vanilla is the only ice cream flavor to go. Uh, I Sorry to interrupt this uh, this relationship moment here. but It's not kid, a relationship moment. This is facts happening in I, front of your face. Look, but it's I'm an interpersonal just, relationship. It is so, an interpersonal yeah. relationship still. Yeah. 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 She's, okay. she's correct. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you two seem like you guys understand each other very. We do, kind of. We do. I, yeah. I, no, I, I was just doing the nice thing of trying to run to the back when I wouldn't normally do that and, and find you a pair also, of jeans. Also, you're like a nice guy, and you go the extra mile and do things for people because you care, right? That's that's who you are? Y- yeah. Phil Summers. Phil, you should put that on a dating app, because if I saw that, I would be swiping away at you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know how the internet works. Oh, Oh my gosh, that's how you two met? That is so cute. And now you're mm-hmm. Lewis's stepdad. That is so great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ge- wow. And, and, and has, he, has he come out of his room to tell you about those jeans? <laughs> I found him. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. like I was shot through the heart and he was to blame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. You know what? You guys are just the sweetest couple. I can only hope that someday I can meet somebody who makes me as happy as you two make each other. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's good advice. I'm going to go to Steven, man. I hope I, I hope I have a family just like yours someday, man. Like, I don't know if it's going to happen for you. Kid. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's what no, everybody wanna, says. That they're always like, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a drama teacher, Steven. Like, it's I, totally going to happen for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so now is typically the point in our show where we have uh, one of our sponsors uh, join us. And, but we got uh, multiple sponsors. This we week. do have multiple sponsors this week. So normally Michael Hyman brings one of his uh, advertisers, one of his fringe ads. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, he's not here. So our co-host is going to fill in that duty. And uh, Monica, I think you actually uh, – this is amazing because it's actually unprecedented. Our guests don't normally bring advertisers to us. But that's that's just the kind of commitment you can expect from a guest like Monica. So – uh, let's hear it. Well, I'm I'm just so excited to talk about Monsieur Manure. I mean, I know what you're thinking. You can't do that with manure, what I'm about to say, but you can. Manure isn't just soil and shit, but it's also a really good moisturizer. And you know who's our spokesperson? Steve Urkel. So you can do that because look at his skin. <laughs> he looks amazing. Both versions of him, the evil one and the kind one. Sometimes people look at him and they go, where did that come from? And they're talking about his skincare routine because it's glorious. Now, I want to let you know that the worry you would have with shit is the stink, right? But this is a low odor product. You do not have to worry about smelling. What you do have to worry about is nitrogen because there's a lot of nitrogen-ness in this product. (laughs) That's why it burns a little when you first put it on at night. (laughs) So we suggest taking melatonin, a couple Benadryls, whatever drug knocks you out. Because it's not addictive, but you're gonna need to keep taking it, otherwise your skin will keep peeling and burn off. But the good news is you won't look at day over 14. (laughs) Monsieur Manure, check it out. Oh, wow. That's great. I am constantly told by my wife that I need to moisturize. So Yeah. 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 No, same. I have uh, you know, little spots of eczema on my face that I can't do anything about. And uh, uh, I had never thought of this angle before, uh, but I'm going to check out the product. Uh, and it's poop. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. So all, all natural, which is really, that's all that matters. As long as the product is natural, it's harmless. Yeah, yeah. I hate that synthetic poop. Yeah, it answers the question I had, too. I thought Monica was using a filter. She's just glowing. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 It's, I've burned off so many layers of skin at this point that you're actually seeing my veins. So it gives off this bright oh. glow. Yeah, it was yeah. In kind of a, a, yeah, I saw some some hints of blue yeah. and pink, and uh, it was an interesting look. I didn't want to comment, but now now that I know it's a positive thing, oh, it looked fantastic. Thank you, and I don't need makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, you certainly do not. Oh. Wonderful. Oh, well, boy, so many great advertisers. Thank you for bringing that one to us, Monica. Uh, I believe we also have another ad this week. Very exciting for our 50th show. I heard we might it might be a return of a previous show. Uh, yes, yes. Is it Supple uh, Dumps? Do no, we get Supple no. Dumps Supple back? Dumps is not back yet. Uh, Come on. No. Yeah, they, they've been having s- some issues. But, that Cool Ranch flavor, um, though. Okay. That's really unfortunate. Would have gone really well with the uh, the manure, yes. No hood honkers? No. 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 This, oh, okay. well, look, this guy's, it's episode 50, and these guys haven't been with us since episode 15. And they talk about that uh, <clears throat> in the ad. Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I believe I sent you the file, uh, Jet. But you know what? Yeah. Since we're yeah. recording a little bit differently today, I'll go ahead. Put in the and, A-track, yeah. Yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, click on uh, the link here. Okay. Great. Blue States over Oklahoma's back. Well, well, well. We ain't been putting out ads for a while as I've been acting as my own counsel in some legal trouble I got into for sitting in some lady's chair, but we're back for summer, pending sentencing. Yup, it's the summer season here at Blue States over, over Oklahoma where we let you live like one of those godless states where the democratic agenda lets people do things like eat kale and wear rubbers. Speaking of mandating children, bring them down to our spooky story pavilion where they can sit through our new show critical race scary because in them blue states they say systematic racism is bad but here in oklahoma we say without systematic racism where would we be like literally our whole state's like extra bonus super stolen for the indigenous people who were here before yeehaw how bad could it be then pop into the insaney cheney fun house Or like someone in a blue state, you can walk through our twisted hall of mirrors and eventually you'll see yourself transformed into someone who can utter the phrase, what Liz Cheney says, kind of makes a lot of sense. Not me though, she's a traitor, despite us both sharing 99% of the same terrible hell screen opinions. And our new area, Legal Land, has a new ride, the Autominator. 
two lines, one for the ladies, one for the fellas. <laughs> ladies, you get to hop on the ride and then choose to push whatever buttons and go wherever you want. And fellas, you just got to watch them do whatever they want with their bodies. In your opinion, don't even matter. Where are we? Satan Francisco? <laughs> Eventually, to Legal Land, we'll be adding the Tunnel of Love is Love and the Contraceptor. When? Sooner than you think, Susan Sarandon. And I know what you're thinking. A line for fellas and a line for ladies? That doesn't sound very blue states. Well, congrats on your performative wokeness. And know that if you bring in a can of Dr. Pepper, you get to pick your pronouns for the day. And we'll respectfully remember them. Like we're your ally from your fucking quinoa class or whatever. Dr. Pepper, our unofficial sponsor and soon the only medically certified women's health advocate in Oklahoma. Blue states over Oklahoma. Soon to be expanding to more states. Unless you fucking vote for people who have an actual progressive agenda and will fight for the rights of women instead of watching people like us put the crazy in theocracy. Blue states, okay. Wow. Oh. Have they done work? Have they been doing work in Ohio too? Um, you know what? They are slowly but surely um, expanding. It's sort of like a buzz marketing thing. They're just expanding mm. all over the place. It's it's uh, it's yeah. really. I would say disappointing. Yeah, I would say disappointing. It's weird. I, I thought I really missed Blue States over Oklahoma. And then, you know, you hear their ad and it's like, oh, that's right. We do not endorse all of the products that sponsor us. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we've said that every time they've advertised that we yeah. almost regret cashing their check. And now more than ever. Yes. Yes. But, uh, but you know, like most of the Democratic Party, we're still happy to take the money. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. exactly. And so that's why we have to make sure that uh, we both vote for politicians and podcasts that refuse to take money from terrible, awful people and actually stand up for what's right. Hmm. It's almost uh, as though I know that sounds like I'm calling out Ira Glass in This American Life. And I am. <laughs> it. I am. Oh, okay. 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 I am. Mm-hmm. Um, he knows what he did. So yeah. if I if I dreamt of a mogwai. Mm. Does that count, or does Joe Johnson get that because he created Gizmo? I feel like you answered your own question as soon as you said it. Yeah. yeah. Because you, even yeah. the title of the creature you didn't create. But if you went, hey, I made up a Guga Hagels, and yeah. we would be okay. on your side yeah. to hear oh, more about a Guga Hagel. Is a Google Hagel okay. yours? That's so uh-huh. great. I love that. Yep. Damn it. Oh, that sounds fantastic no! creature. Oh, my God. I want one now. Yeah. <laughs> Those would make such cute toys. Yeah, Sorry, see how guys. it works, Josh? It's so easy. They're Come called Google Hagels because of the, that's what it, their their call sounds like. It sounds Google Google. Google, Google. They're like they're like Pokemon that way. Yeah. It's like yep. They just say their own name. And they're Nordic, obviously, yeah. but the like Google mm. Hagels. That's how they right. pronounce it. Well, who cool. else has yeah. a favorite pet? I mean, Dream I, I'll, pet. I'll jump in. Mine's slightly more realistic, uh, but oh, you know, um, okay, just slightly. It is it uh, is it a dog that doesn't want to free itself from your clutches? Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. You a real just... dumb one. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, you always make me regret opening my mouth as the host. Uh, I told you, don't be the host. It's a bat. I mean, as a kid, huh? I was always obsessed with bats. I love bats. And you didn't dream of a bat. Bats are apparently um, uh, some species of larger bat mm. make fantastic pets oh, and are really? uh, incredibly Fox. loving and... Um, and like to cuddle and stuff. Well, no now bits. you are that, you are setting true? me up for this a is problem true. in the future. Jeez, because I would just I would love to, I would love a pet. I only They're I only adorable. just learned this because I've also yeah. been looking into um uh an owl box. Oh owl, yes, apparently in, in just about any suburban or urb, or urban environment in the country, um it is owl oh, habitat wow. and owls have been yeah pushed out by just urban development, but like there's things. every city has a ring of arable land around it where you kind of between the city and the suburbs mm-hmm. um, where that's like native habitat for owls like L.A. Great mm-hmm. Horned Owl, Barned Owl and Screech mm-hmm. Owl all are here and uh, you can put up a box and like in your yard or on your building just in the right place and right height and stuff and potentially provide a habitat for one and they'll live there for like years. Well, like right now I'm in, I'm, I'm on vacation, but normally I'm in Burbank and we've got owls in Burbank and I used to live in Los Feliz and they're owls like crazy in Los Feliz. Yeah. But I've always heard that like yeah. owls can't be tamed, that if you like try to make an owl your pet, it will always want well, to murder you. This isn't, this isn't about taming it. You're just yeah. providing oh, okay. 
uh, a home for because them the, in the types yeah. of trees that they would normally be able to nest in that form yeah. natural cavities and stuff like oaks and maples We've got have right been now. got have been oh, torn out okay. and they don't have a natural you know, place and to bat go boxes have also been a thing forever for the, the same really? logic like you you can yeah you can yeah. there's all sorts of instructions what? online that you can build a bat box and put it on your home and give them a habitat because bats are really valuable to to yeah. the ecosystem as well because they eat mosquitoes mm-hmm. they like they That's are one crazy. of the main predator mm-hmm. of of the kinds of insects we do not want around they're usually in cottages. Yeah. One barn owl family. Uh, so just one, you know, owl box worth of owls, uh, three or four owls will eat. How much more or less than uh, is that than a shitload? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a shitload of owls would be like six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like right. barn owls, I think that's especially. Are, like, yeah. yeah. If great you saw yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Like, if there were circling, raptors, you'd be like, that's a shitload huge. of owls. That's a yeah, load and of shit. There's also a buttload of owls <laughs> yeah. as well. Which uh, I but assume one, is bigger than a shitload. One, but yes, anyway. One barn owl family will eat 3,000 rodents a year in their what? little area. They should build like them in the is... New York subways. They should have owl yeah. boxes. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Done. I, yeah, really. What? And also difference. in Congress. So now, I, first of all, <laughs> let me say I have, a, I have a wish for my pal Jet. Uh, I want yeah. you to become so wealthy that you get mm-hmm. bat money like the kind of thing where it's just like <laughs> you're the guy who's like your status pet is that you have like a bat yes that's like every night when jets out he's like got a bat hovering around him but, but like, not batman money because fuck billionaires yeah exactly yeah billionaires unless unless, unless we're the billionaires then but we would yeah. never be billionaires because we would be like dolly parton we'd give it away yeah. yes oh, that's stay true. millionaires I, isn't that funny i don't know if you guys do this but like i i do play the lottery because i'm a sucker but i always like I plan. I, get, I, I play the lottery because it gives me an excuse to daydream, mm-hmm. and I'm telling yep. you, man. Like my thought is like, oh my god! All right, I'm gonna put this kid through college. I'm gonna <laughs> give this guy a retirement savings. This per like, do, do you guys do that? Like, I, I dream about so much money. All I'm the time to give away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, good. That's te- yeah, that you guys are good people. Be, that's right. We do peasants this do this throughout history. <laughs> yes, we dream exactly. of what we would do <laughs> yeah. with uh, the riches yeah. of our lords. If I but isn't that also where force. we are? Yeah. yeah. There's that saying of timelines like, uh, I don't, I'm going to quote this terribly wrong and paraphrase it terribly, but it was like. Like a member of the team. You no, know, I was going to say like your grandfather rode a camel. My father rode a camel. I drive a Mercedes. My kid will drive a Land Rover. And it becomes like we become wealthy and we become so wealthy we fuck everybody that my grandchild will be back on a camel. Mm-hmm. Because oh. we'll like, we'll ruin We'll help each other out, help each other out, enjoy money too much, fuck everybody else, and now the whole system's done. And yep. from that, we'll all be poor and then create some great thing again. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Monica, you now just pointed out my at. bad, uh, the bad parenting that I received because I've only heard the first part of that. Because <laughs> my dad sure. was always like, <laughs> you know, uh, if, right. if I, it all sounds positive. Yeah, my dad was like, listen, if Rambo. I'm the guy who's on the back of the garbage truck, I want my kid to be the guy who's driving the garbage truck. And then I want his kid to be the guy who owns the fleet of garbage trucks. Uh, and my thought was always like, why don't we get out of the garbage business? Um, <laughs> yeah, the idea Good money. Like, and then the, guy who owns, yeah. then the guy who corners the market on garbage trucks fills the city with disease because he wants a higher contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't get to hear that part. Not, not, obviously, this isn't the angle you were going with, Stephen, with the joke. But like, it is such a frustration point for me whenever we have these discussions of – uh, you know, you ask for anyone to make more money to, to to be paid reasonably for their job, and the reaction is, well, they need to get a better job. It's like, okay, let's say, sure, that's correct. You're still admitting someone needs to have the shit pay mm-hmm. in the shit job, mm-hmm. yeah. and so someone should always be barely able to survive in your system. Versus, let's recognize that trash matters. Mm-hmm. Trash disposal very much matters because the right. moment they stop picking up the trash. We all notice just how bad that is. Mm -hmm. So maybe value the jobs of the people who are doing things that we consider shitty. Because, I mean, isn't that how it normally works? Is that you're supposed to be, in theory, you're supposed to be paid well for doing awful work? I mean, on certain levels, you know, that's where, like, people who are uh, high, you know, uh, uh, high tension wire workers, like, they're paid really well because it's really dangerous work. And that's that's fair. It's like that's a that's a job that puts you at high risk and you should be paid accordingly. But similarly, a job that everybody Parts uses as their example right of a terrible job, like picking up trash. Well, if you all think that's such a bad job, you should probably pay accordingly. But it's also a noble job because you're helping yes. your entire yeah. community, like the janitors it's that were final. working in hospitals during COVID. Right. Like yes. they were helping everybody. Mm-hmm. I got to push back on this. Like you're saying that like uh, a noble job that everybody respects but doesn't get paid well 
we should pay those people more. As a public school teacher, I've got to say I completely disagree with that. <laughs> I, think, I think the occasional Starbucks gift card that I get for five bucks Mm. Uh, oh yeah it, it's perfect for feeding my family it's just so I'm great just, to hear just that. keep you going mm-hmm. yeah. yeah how do you do that <laughs> i feed my family with a five dollar starbucks gift card we, we cut up one of the turkey goudas uh three different oh, ways there you go. <laughs> sure. and we leave just mm-hmm. a little bit for our dog so that way he'll want to keep living with us i want the life you have steven i want to be <laughs> like you <laughs> no <laughs> Uh, Going back to owls, have you seen their legs? They got really long legs. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, have you ever seen? I mean, it's it's creepy to describe it, but have you ever seen the cross section of an owl? Uh, you know, like like when they've been. Uh, I thought you were defining it like you're like in between their legs, the cross yeah, section no, of an owl. Hello. Like, what you know, what <laughs> videos yeah, I mean, are you watching? Dude? Yeah. Uh, Who but no, like you if you see, you like you know, with, with taxidermy stuff and and medical and everything, you know, they they, they they've shown what an owl looks like. It's all feathers, so the actual body of an owl is incredibly yeah. tiny. Like, they are very petite birds. Mm-hmm. It's all of that body is feathers. Super. Hey, so I know it's the third day, and this is the point where I take my fur off. Um, I just want to point out that, like... Oh, baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know I'm, like, oh, fluffy. Yeah. I'm a real fluffy fox. You took fox. an albatross yeah. on, baby. You, you, got, you already see the full package right here. Yeah, I know. Your scales. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm going to take my fur off. I'm actually quite small underneath. Uh, you know what? I think it's cute that you call your feathers fur. Baby, you do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, it's just because they keep me warm, <laughs> and they're pretty much the same thing, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I, hey, I, nothing against it. Uh already in my birthday suit great uh it's just okay i just i know that one of the things you said you liked about me was my hips and i just want to yeah 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 they're you still know there they're just not as um hey. hey if if birds could be deceptive i uh i don't think those hips would qualify as birds nope. because they don't lie <laughs> oh huh? you're doing shakira <laughs> but i get it um okay here it is here's my body this is me. Uh, I, I, all right, I, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. Um, could you have warned me? Well, I mean, I'm an owl. Anyone who knows yeah. what you're into, and why does Owls, my body you matter? Co- you, you are constantly flirting with everybody. Yeah, I'm good at it. I'm a great flirt. I can Ooh. twist my neck around. Ooh. Who, me? Ooh. Are you yeah. talking to me? That's how we ended up here. Yeah, and I was doing a Joe gonna... Pesci reference, and you loved it. You talking to me? It was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. He's a, one of the best actors of our time. Girl, you did not miss out on anything, all right? I have dated an albatross, and they will just hang on to you, and they will just drag you around. I promise <laughs> you, you... you you are lucky he was such a jerk, okay? Okay, thank you, because I was about to do my cousin Vinny reference. I was, like, going to break out all my Joe Pesci for him because no. he wasn't into my body. Maybe he'd be into my mind. You know, you know, you know, you know who you should meet? Like a, a sweet raven. Girl, you would, you and a raven. A raven? Like a, a raven. crow? They're smart. Oh They've got good memories. He's never going to forget your anniversary. Right? They're murdery. They're kind of murdery, though. Oh, that's a rumor they have about... People say ravens are murdery. You know why? Because they're black. All right? Now, let's just uh, swoop down there and bother those dogs that are barking down there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just swoop down there and bug them. Come on. They're barking at us anyway. Come on. It'll be fun. Live a little. Right? When's the last time you scooped it's... up a poodle in your talons? Huh? I don't... I, you're... <laughs> Look, bro. You're a bro walrus, and I'm a bro walrus. You're turning me down... We're the same exact thing, dude. I'm just, I'm just saying you're not my type. I'm not your type. Have you seen the tusk on this? Look, I've seen better tusks. That's all I'm saying. Where, where have you seen better tusks? The summer you went to Argentina? In fact, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm. I've got. Listen, I've got a Borales, uh mm. in Argentina that I talk to on a regular sure, basis. Sure. And uh, uh-huh. I'm just saying it might work out when. Mm. I, maybe I'll move to Argentina you, one of these days. I'll get about, out of here. You've been talking about this bro walrus of yours forever, and I've never seen him. Here I am, 
your best friend. I've been waiting in the wings for years. He's in Argentina. What do you expect him to what come is, all the way it, here? It's expensive. Is it my size? Like, is it my size? Do you? I'm a friend of the water. We can do this in the water, baby. It's not a big. I'm not a big... No, no. I mean, it's not about your size. It's about oh, God. I didn't. I didn't want to have to say this. I didn't if want to have to say me, this. I, it's been a rough time. I know I put on the blubber. It's not I mean, your you size. Have two, but it's I not your you tusks. Are. It's your personality. You have a beautiful tusk. I'm okay with the curvature of your tusks. I prefer it. Okay, this is what you're demonstrating right now. It's this obsessive personality right here. Like okay. you are so, you are so uh, neurotic about everything, and like I have to constantly massage your ego and tell you okay. how great you are, and that you've got a nice mm -hmm. body and you've got a nice tusk. And let's face it, you do, but you shouldn't. I shouldn't have to tell you that all the time. It's what? so much emotional labor. Yeah, so the therapist will be right with you, but it sounds like you have so much emotional labor that you keep doing for your relationship. Look, she she was really uh, not up front with me, okay? I Like, it was just going to be a, a hookup. Just going to be a hookup. She's the one who taught me on the street and was like, who? 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 I'm the one that turned around and said, me? Okay. And then I interpreted her back and head shake, her head going back and forth as a yes, because I wanted to. Anyway, we ended up at an apartment. And she takes off her, she calls it fur, it's feathers. She takes them off. And there's, she's literally bones. She's just this, she's, she's like one dimensional. Okay. I guess that's more what this is about is that I'm a three dimensional bird, very large bird. And I just, the, the, the single dimension really killed it. For You're me. starting to sound like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean where he doesn't like the man with the bones. Okay. I just want to put that out there when the therapist comes in to be aware of your references. But, uh, that sounds like body bone shaming. You're bone shaming. Okay, sharks. Bill Savage, back again. I got what we call a fur substitute. Okay? They're longer. It almost looks like a quill. Some would say they're feathers, but it's a fur substitute. You use them as jackets. You can put in your hair. You use it as a pen. It has multi-functions. Who says no? I'm, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's just Still kind no. of an automatic. Yeah. 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 I mean, honestly, it was no the moment you walked in the room. Yeah. It's just kind of an autopilot no reaction to your face. It's, it's I, have, I have a no face. So. You have a no face, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we already have pleather. Yeah. And I feel like you're just giving us That's pleather. That's a good, oh, yeah. Instead, which, you know, we have yeah. fake fur. We already had to rebrand it to vegan leather, which is honestly just massively improved it for everyone for no apparent reason. Oh, yeah. Really? There's vegan leather? Maybe you should try acid wash jeans. Try bringing those back. Do you guys want acid wash jeans? <laughs> no. 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 Oh, my God. Come Look on. At it. <laughs> uh, I want to point out, I know that uh, podcast is an audio medium, but for our, for our listeners, Monica has her dream pet on her lap right now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Sweet doggy wandered into the frame. I do. I will say I have. I do have a wonderful dog. He's super, super smart. So someone here will hate him, but um, <sighs> that does mean that he's he he knows <laughs> he knows so much. He's figured he would break out of his crate, like all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I would my perfect pet would is him, but say he left the room. Uh, I want, and I don't remember this, but I remember my brother would watch a cartoon where a superhero could get really, really small on your shoulder and get big. I would want like a dragon dog like mine yeah. that could get size to like fit in my pocket. That's when I feed him. That's mm -hmm. when I like, we have dinner and stuff. So he's Much cost more efficient. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he's big like a dragon, flies me around, but then goes right back in my pocket. There's no anxiety when I leave the house because he can come along. Yeah. Mm. So dragon dogs seem like a theme here because we've got Falcor. Josh also wanted a Falcor. And now you want a uh, shrinkable Fal Falcor, essentially. I want like that, the, the dragon cartoon movie where the dad dies. <laughs> What's that called? <laughs> Uh, is it Pink how, to, how to Train Your Dragon? Oh, how to Train Your Dragon, dragon. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm ruining Toothless. it for everybody. Toothless. I'm sorry. Yeah. Toothless. Um, yeah. We have a cat that looks exactly like Toothless. I, I sometimes call him that. Really? Just, yeah, yeah. like the, the eyes and like, you know, sometimes he opens his mouth just the right way from the right angle. The black cat, it just, it's adorable. He just looks exactly like, like Toothless, so. Which they did, they like they mirrored Toothless's uh, movements mm -hmm. over, uh, off of a cat, too. So like the, the cat-like movements are intentional. I didn't realize yeah. that. 
I I I do actually I actually had a, a legit dream pet for a while. And Jed, I think you'll appreciate how rare this is because both of us have lived in Santa Clarita at times. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was living in Santa Clarita, we had a pool. And we actually had a duck, a wild duck, that took the pool as his home for like a good eight months. And we had like a pet duck. We called him Paddles. Oh. <laughs> we used to open like the we used to open the door and we had like a we had like a bar when you open up the sliding glass. He mm-hmm. would just he, he was so unafraid of us, he would just walk into like the bar. We'd be blaring the music, you're watching TV, and you'd quack, 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 go back in his pool. To, uh, yeah, once once he left to migrate, we never saw him again. But like that eight months, that like I I told everyone I had a pet duck, and I think awesome. it makes sense because it's Canadian, so mm-hmm. already it's a likable animal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if I was to do one more pet, talking about the time that we're in, I would get a woman. <laughs> Oh, God. Yep. She doesn't have as many yep. rights as a human, so yeah, I mean, kind of like a yeah, pet. That's the next step. Uh, yeah. She can't oh, get God, medical procedures know. done without her husband's signing it. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. I feel like let's have a – if we all had a female pet, there you go. It's just a nice lady. Yeah, that's, yes. the, that's the next step. Steven, can you write that for the next uh, for the next podcast recording? Uh, no, because my tears will nope. cause the ink to smear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So I just really hope that uh, everybody votes in the next midterm election uh, the Please. right way uh, and and vote for people who will fight like hell so that that way our friends don't become pets. <laughs> our wives yeah. and yeah. daughters and friends and sisters and moms don't all become pets. Ugh. Super yeah, smart one. go camp, then I won't say a, a damn word. Super! So you're a lady. And you're looking... For a lady. Lady, you came to the right place. Welcome to Ladies R Us. Your latest in lady pet pets and accessories. Oh. Uh, it, it's a little redundant. But we, we, we only just got open. Anyways, you're one of our first few customers. Really excited to show you what we got uh, uh, if, if, you're, if you're interested. Did you oh. have something in mind? I'm for so the type excited. Of lady yeah, I, well, you know, I'm, I would like a lady... That, um, you know, knows how to cross her ankles, not her knees, but uh, also can, um, you know, talk to me. don't want her to cross her knees. Well, that's a reference to uh, uh, a whore crosses her knees because she shows too much open leg and a lady crosses her ankles to the side. I was raised proper, so that's actually a thing. (laughs) It's just that the way you formed the sentence made it sound as if you only wanted her ankles crossed, but not her knees. I am concerned if you know how to sell a woman properly right now. I got to be honest with you. Just spread eagle, but the the ankles are still crossed, which would I would not want to spread eagle woman. You described it. I'm just having trouble with your sentence. Look at my robe. Obviously, it's red, so I am slightly more empowered. So I'm not looking for a woman whose legs are spread open. I'm looking for someone who's ah. had to spread cheese on my sandwich. <laughs> I only gotcha. eat the spreadable kind. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. Uh, if you if you come over here to our, mm-hmm. uh, we've got a wide array, uh, ranging from any. Uh, uh, Nineteen is our youngest, but we go all the way up to sixty. And boy, I tell you, she was a grandmother. She was around before Roe. Uh, it was. Per- she had an amazing run of of rights, but now she could be all yours. Uh, cooks, cleans, gives you nice hugs. We'll write you a check for the amount that your birth year is that year. Anytime you want. Doesn't have to be your birthday. Wow, Anna. She's a sixty year old grandmother, so obviously she's yeah. not from nowadays. Uh, I appreciate that. A young, a young granny. Oh, yeah, she she's seen she's seen the world. She's seen everything, and you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, you you can listen to those stories or not because she's yours. She would be, she would be totally owned by. Wait, you. does she know how to hold a knife? Uh, you can talk to her. She's hi. Oh. hi. My name's Dolores, and uh, I can hold a knife. And I can tell you this: I remember back in the before times. And if you give me the opportunity, I'll kill your man when he sleeps. Great, great. That is exactly what I meant. I want someone who knows how to weapon. Oh, great. So I'm going to take this granny. Do you got any other women ladies you can show me? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Look, I don't know what you ladies just whispered about, mm-hmm. but it sounds like it's going to be a really great relationship of owner 
and owned person. Right. Look at my nails. I must have a rich husband because I don't make money. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm not legally allowed to anymore. Uh, my wife says that all the time. It's so let the guys love it. You know uh, what? Yeah, uh, we can go. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, before you complete the purchase, give me a minute. I'm going to murder him before we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. I don't know what your ladies are saying. Just this whispering is great. It's like it's like a real uh, uh, mother daughter relationship. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I talked to your wife Debbie. She's the one who told me to come here. My, my wife. Yeah, Debbie. Yeah. Oh, how do you know Debbie? Stop! 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 Ow! 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 Uh, uh, why did I? Why did I leave that just half cages? Why did I give you a fence? Well, that's offensive. Legit. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> uh, and on that future documentary, I think it's uh, time to bring this episode to a close. Uh, I would uh, I like to thank Matt Walker, as always, for doing our intro and outro music. Yeah, this man. episode was hosted and edited by me, Jet Kaufman, co-hosted by our guest, Monica Smith. Thank you so much for filling in as co-host on this one. Thanks for having me. Also feature the talents of Stephen C. James, Chris Sanders, yeah, resist, and, persist. Yes, and Josh Spence. Every scene you heard today was improvised on the spot along with some of the ads with only a light touch of editing for your comfort. If you're loving what we're doing, please pause the show real quick and write a five-star review before you close the app. And also tell a friend about us. That's uh, even better than the review, but do both. Uh, and we, before we uh, we close out, Monica, is there anything you want to promote or somewhere people online can follow you or you want them to stay as far away from you as possible? Your call. <laughs> I guess look me up. I'm Miss Monica Smith. Monica spelled with a K. Um, you can find me on all those um, internet the web things. And um, I do solo improv, so look for that. Uh, I brought it back now, so I'm going to be doing it around the city of Los Angeles if you are in Los Angeles and want to come see it. That show is and amazing. And I can say as some, yeah. Yeah, uh, Josh and I have both seen that show. In fact, you did that in one of the one of our blocks, I think, once, uh, and it's incredible. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't, I can barely keep track of one character at a time, and it's mine. And I've seen you be seven or eight people on stage at once, and it's it is spectacular and funny and uh, and incredibly trackable for the audience, which I don't even know how you somehow got into my brain and made it follow that many threads at once because I have ADHD. <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, You're all getting all right. owls. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Hey, but, um, but I wanted a bat. <laughs> I, I know that I usually have this bit, but um, seeing as the recording issues that we had mm -hmm. before we started recording for this special 50th episode, um, should I hit record now, Jed? Or is <sighs> yeah, that you? Yeah, yeah Josh, no, I, that, that's what we talked about before, but all right, fine. Start recording. Now we'll have to do this again. <laughs> I'll remember my line. Anything is on. Oh, my time. I kick the door on its hinges just so I can move. While Americans overwhelmingly support the right of an individual to make their own decisions about abortion, unfortunately, that right is no longer protected everywhere in the U.S. The Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade on June 24th. Abortion is a basic health care need for the millions of people who can become pregnant. Everyone should have the freedom to decide what's best for themselves and their families, including when it comes to ending a pregnancy. This decision has dire consequences for individual health and safety and could have harsh repercussions for other landmark decisions. Restricting access to comprehensive reproductive care, including abortion, threatens the health and independence of all Americans. Even if you live in a state where abortion rights are upheld, access to safe medical procedures shouldn't be determined by location, and it shouldn't be the privilege of a small few. You can help by donating to local abortion funds. To find out where to donate for each state, visit donationsforabortion.com. That's the number four. If you or someone you know needs help, or if you want to get more involved, here are five resources. One, Shout Your Abortion is a campaign to normalize abortion. 
two, Don't Ban Equality is a campaign for companies to take a stand against abortion restrictions. Three, Abortion.Cafe has information about where to find clinics. Four, PlanCPills.org provides early at-home abortion pills that you can keep in your medicine cabinet. And five, Choice.CRD.CO has a collection of these resources and more. You can also find links to all these resources at podvoices.help. We encourage you to speak up, take care, and spread the word. Thank you.